Jess and I met a few weeks ago to kind of bring together our thoughts on Italian style and how we can bring them to a point of making an actual physical piece together. And since then, Jessica has flown off to Italy. And today I'm finally going to see what she's brought back from Italy and I can't wait to see it. I've managed to source the inspiration I think that I need to bring the project forward um, and I'm looking forward to seeing her because I think at this point in time I almost have too much information so I just need it to be sort of more focused and I think she'll help me. Hi! Hi. Hi. Yeah, I've got a lot to show you. I think I came back with a, a world of inspiration in a little box. Alright, let's see what we got. So, I found this when I was away. Themes at the moment which I think are most significant are of the element of love and romance and timelessness, heritage, and but with a modern twist. I've got found lovely old diaries, oh, wow. and scripts. And I just thought, because I like the idea of interacting identities. Is this your scrapbook for me? I went out looking specifically for subject of love, um, cycling. So you're taking it from being more about our love story and then you're incorporating a bicycle. Other oh, ends, yeah. So explain to me how you got from romance to bicycle. <laughs> what I think of when I think of Italian style, I yeah. think of a 50 cyclist. Okay. And so when you think of Italy and you think of romance think and of love, you think of 50s riding cyclists, by cycle. riding bicycle. And I think I could sort of work in the mechanisms within a bicycle with, within yeah. the piece. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that I have to detach the, the element of, of love. Okay. I think it kind of encapsulates the happy, kind of carefree Italian style and vibe and... Because you even do something with like the bell. Yeah. You have a bicycle yeah. bell. That would be cool. That's nice, Emily. That would be so cool and if I could print something... text. I could etch text on the outside of the bell. I think that would be really awesome. Oh, I think it's just too good. <laughs> That's really good. Using a bike bell as a sort of the sort of vitrine and the almost the jewelry box to hold the jewelry. It will provide a beautiful surface for me to create the stories and the etching and I think I could create a lovely sort of element of age to it as well. So I am excited to get started with that. And I was surprised that she came up pulled that one out of the bag. I think that's kind of actually what everybody was hoping for. And these sort of things is you get thrown together and you have a lot of great ideas and then something just clicks. The next stage is to get myself a bell and get dissecting. Get a screwdriver in hand and start seeing how I can make a piece of jewellery that's going to work within it.